Hi, this is Nando at Carbon Zero, and I just wanted to make a short video showing how our tomato trial is going at the moment. We have one group of tomatoes that's been treated with uh, wood vinegar as a foliar spray at a 200 to 1 dilution weekly. And you're looking at some of the tomatoes now. And I'm going to take you down this row so that you can see how the fruit development is, is going. <clears throat> there are plenty, plentiful amounts of, of fruits that have developed at the base of these tomatoes tomatoes. Maybe it's a little bit hard to see in the, in the foliage, but basically every plant is uh, fruiting quite prolifically. Okay. Let's take a look at another row. Maybe you can see this one better. There are fruits developing on every plant and each each plant has a, a rather prolific set of, of fruits of tomatoes developing on it. Notice how consistent this is. It's nearly on every plant that we see significant fruit development. Now I'm going to take you over here to another set of tomatoes. that have not been treated with wood vinegar as a comparison. And let's check how the fruit development is going on these plants. You will see that most plants have far less fruits, far less flowers, smaller fruits, hardly any fruit at all. There's a significant difference between them in productivity. And while there are a couple of plants that have a fairly good set of, of tomatoes on them, in the back there perhaps you can see there's one or two. It's not at all consistent. So what I'm seeing is that the wood vinegar treatment group is turning out to be far more productive in terms of, of fruit production. Now here's another variety of tom tomato here. These are cherry tomatoes. I'm going to back up a little bit so that you can see. In the foreground is a group of plants again that have not been treated with wood vinegar. If I back up a little bit more, in the background you can see a group of plants that have been treated with wood vinegar. They're at least double the size in terms of, of leaf production and flowering. Now the flowers haven't set yet, so <clears throat> I'm not sure about fruit development. Let's look at it from another perspective. To the right is the treatment group. To the left is the control group. So there's definitely a higher productivity in terms of, of foliage, which should allow, hopefully, for a higher productivity in terms of fruit development. We'll see a little bit later on in the season how this evolves. So that's all I wanted to show you for today. Thanks for watching.
拜拜。